Hi guys, welcome to Follow a Sketch February Day 8. Now, I once again thought I was recording and didn't. So, you're going to watch me glue everything down and I will walk through what I decided on. So, this is the sketch. It was an L design with one photo. So, I did some mixed media, which you can't really see much of it down here. There was a whole bunch down here and then I covered it all up, isn't that? What always seems to happen but I will show you what I did for my mixed media I took this leaf stencil by photo play that's called summer leaves and I used distressed oxide in twisted citron and there was a whole bunch of it down here you can't see it but you can see that I also did it up here in that corner then I took this um, stencil from craft collection it is a mass design by francois red or reed and i used picket fence paper glaze velvet in split pea soup so that's this and this then i took a close to my heart stamp and this is called background elements i took this one right here with two different inks willow and crystal blue and I stamped around around there with that. So that was my backdrop. It's all on close to my heart, white daisy paper. That's what I use most of the time. Then I took two pieces of paper from a hot off the press collection. It was this green polka dot and this blue polka dot. I tore it because since I'd kind of grunged up my paper, I wanted a grungy look. Then I matted my photo with just a piece of yellow and I wanted to bring in the yellow because that twisted citron is definitely a greenish yellow and then I knew that the enamel dots that I wanted to use from Fre uh, Freckled Fawn were also yellow so I needed to bring in a little bit of yellow so I did that and I roughed up the edges with my close to my heart edge distressor. So <clears throat> excuse me then I took a couple of things that were also a part of that uh, hot off the press that came with the papers. It were the, the silver um, cut aparts. It, they looked like, it looks like this. And I took the three circles and cut them apart because um, this sketch had a whole bunch of circles around. Now, none of my embellishments are glued down except of course the enamel dots. So since you didn't get to see the process, you can watch me do that. I'm sure that excites you getting to watch me glue stuff down, but you know. So I took three of those because that's those were the circle pieces. And I cut them out and I just kind of tucked them places. Okay, then I went to my freckled fawn chipboard, which looked like this. It was the March 2023 collection, and I pulled out um, both circle bits that were in there, and I put one here. It's this yellow with a heart. Now, this is sticky, but we all know how well uh, chipboard, glued chipboard is. Oh, no, my... <gasps> My thing came off. Yikes. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, we'll be fixing that later. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue on it. Because like I said, I think we all know how well chipboard really, chipboard stickers stick. And then I got this blue one with the flowers. Maybe. Maybe. I never seem to get the backings off of this. So those were the only two circle pieces in the chipboard. I was really trying to stick with as much circle the things as I could. So then I also took um, this banner piece that says happy days. I used it and 
there needed to be something else behind it. So I took two banners from the labels and I'll show you those in just a second. Let me get this glued down. I was hoping there would be circled labels, but there wasn't in this collection, but that's okay. And this is from the March, 2023. I don't know if I said that or not. This is the March, 2023 embellishment kit. And I didn't want them to be even, so I need to go in and cut that piece, but I purposely made them a little uneven. And just like I don't want this right in the middle, I'm gonna kind of scooch it over to the side. I also pulled this one that says enjoy, because it had the pretty blue flowers. Maybe, goodness gracious, why can I not get it? There we go. Whoa, let's not put it upside down. I pulled a couple of different arrows, this big black lined one. It's kind of a messy grid, kind of, is what I would call it. And this arrow, it's, it's green and white striped arrow. Oh, before I glue this down though, well, if I break, well, it won't matter too much, but I need this tag. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. This tag was a part of the um, hot off the press kit that I was using. It looked like this, but I didn't want all this, so I just flipped it over. So I need to glue this down, but it's got glue on it. So let me stick that back down where it goes. I forgot that that wasn't glued down yet when I glued my chipboard. Let me glue, put my arrow down now. Okay, and then one more, chip, two more chipboard pieces. This one says, life is like this, and it has a little arrow. Why can I not get these? So I will tell the story that I told when I wasn't videoing. Uh, it's kind of silly on me. So today is Monday, February 4th. And we didn't have school today. We had professional development, which means the teachers go, but there aren't any students. Well, for some reason, I had it in my brain that it was President's Day. I guess because the students didn't come, so I was thinking it was President's Day. I don't really know. This is a double banner piece that says memory. Anyway, I just, that's what I thought. I thought we were taking President's Day off. So um, my son works at a bank in Oklahoma City and we snap each other every morning just to say good morning. And so I snapped him this morning and I didn't expect him to snap me back because, you know, it was President's Day and the banks were closed and in my mind. And so he did. And I was like, oh, are you working today? And he's like, yeah, why wouldn't I be working? And I said, well, it's President's Day. And he's like, no, Mom, President's Day isn't for like two more weeks. Yeah, so interesting. So it's not President's Day. In case any of you guys needed, needed that information, it is not President's Day today. Uh, anyway, so uh, sometimes I do silly things like that. I'm a pretty smart person, but you know. Anyway, okay, so that glues down on my chipboard. Now, I did pull two pieces of wood veneer from the Freckled Fawn, and it says love today, and I'm gonna place those, I'm gonna stick those right, I was gonna stick right there and there, and that's gonna be my title.
but like I had some things to mail, but I didn't even get them ready because there wasn't going to be mail today. And I had a check that needed to go to the bank and, but the bank wasn't going to be open. <laughs> yeah. So then I felt kind of silly, kind of silly. That's okay. <laughs> Wouldn't be the, won't be the first time I feel kind of silly. Or probably the last time I feel kind of silly. Okay. So there is everything that I wanted to glue that I, oh, I need my bow. I'm going to glue dot my bow that I tied for my tag. So it's not completely naked anyway. There we go. All right, now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I am going to put the date down here, or at least the month and the year, but I've gotta go look that up because I'm I'm pretty positive it was July of 2016, but I wanna just go check and make sure before I do that. But I have these letter stickers from the Freckled Fawn and I'm gonna put those down here. So that's gonna be, you'll see that in my still shot, but that is going to be my layout today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more uh, Follow a Sketch February layouts, I, I'm hoping to do every day this month. So hit that subscribe button and you'll see even more. And thank you so much for being here today. See you next time. Bye guys.